Ukrainian forces launched a night attack on the outskirts of the Kursk airfield on July the 31st, utilizing newly developed cruise missiles, according to defense blog Media Outlet. The strike resulted in fires at several key Russian military facilities. It is noted that the Ukrainian general staff confirmed that the defense forces of Ukraine targeted storage sites for Russian military equipment and weaponry near the city of Kursk. The attack reportedly employed the latest Ukrainian-made Neptune cruise missiles, specifically modified for land strikes. These missiles hit targets approximately 100 kilometers from the Ukrainian border. During the night of July the 31st, our forces conducted a precision strike on a storage facility for Russian military equipment and weaponry near Kursk, the general staff of the armed forces of Ukraine stated. According to Defense Blog, sources claim that the strike successfully destroyed an aviation ammunition depot near the Kalino airfield and a base belonging to the main rocket and artillery directorate of the Russian Ministry of Defense. Following the attack, significant fires were reportedly at these locations. This attack highlights the advancement and deployment of the Neptune missile system, which Ukraine has been developing to extend its strike capabilities beyond anti-ship missions. Russian sources also confirmed that Neptune MD missiles in their ground attack configuration were used in the strike. Despite the clear evidence of damage, the Russian Ministry of Defense issued an official press release denying any significant impact on their military facilities, claiming that the missiles were intercepted. The strike on Kursk demonstrates Ukraine's growing capability to conduct precision strikes deep within Russian-controlled territory. Earlier, the Russian Defense Ministry claimed that it downed a drone and a Neptune MD guided missile over the Kursk region, which borders Ukraine's northeastern Sumy region. Meanwhile, acting Kursk governor Alexa Smirnov said on Telegram that a fire had broken out at an unspecified facility in the region, which was later extinguished and resulted in no casualties. Iranian leadership has vowed to avenge the killing of Hamas political leader in Tehran. Ismail Haniya was killed by an airstrike in Tehran on Wednesday morning. Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei announced today that because the attack took place in Tehran, we consider his revenge as our duty. Iran's newly elected moderate president Masoud Pazeshkian who was sworn in on Tuesday, also pledged to avenge the attack in Iran's soil. Pazeshkian said his country would defend its territorial integrity and honor, and make the terrorist occupiers regret their cowardly action. Ismail Haniya had been a VP guest of Pazeshkian's inauguration ceremony and was killed by an airstrike at a residence in Tehran. His funeral will be held in Tehran tomorrow, according to Hamas sources. A senior Hamas official described Haniya's killing as a cowardly act that will not go unpunished. Mediators Qatar and Egypt warned it would set back talks on a ceasefire and a deal to release hostages held in Gaza. The killing of Haniya came only hours after Israel said it had killed a top Hezbollah commander in Beirut. Although, Iran and Hamas have attributed the attack to Israel, the Israeli government has refused to comment on the Hamas leader's death. It should be noted that Israel vowed to kill all Hamas leaders after the October 7 attacks. Speaking after the assassinations, the U.S. Defense Secretary, Lloyd Austin, said the Biden administration was doing things to take the temperature down, but would come to Israel's defense if it were attacked.